like, what's a really yeah, funny song? Like, what's a good, like, song that's so us that we're not, like, we've never played? What about, like, um, hold on. Awkward silence, what do we We play. I'm only half joking about walking up in silence, though. We look at a moment of silence. We're at the back of the room and we're like, shh. And then we just walk up single file in the center aisle in silence. And no, and then uh, if we all get to our spots and and also now the mic's like moment of silence, and then you go. Hey everyone, how am I doing today? Hello. Yeah. Okay, so before we do that, we're just gonna take a moment of silence. My name is Darius Mullen. My name is Ben Trainer. My name is Austin Luttrell. My name is Lucas Brogdon. I play a lot of different things with that band, um, including guitar. In the band, I play guitar. I'm actually a primary, primarily a guitarist. I normally play guitar. I play kazoo and melodica. And bass. I normally sing. I also do drums. My primary instrument is piano. I play bass for that band. I sing a very small amount. I do a lot of other things. And I occasionally play drums for that band. I also am the producer. Obviously we all met, so we all met at school. <laughs> that was not <laughs> What's really cool. What's this fine establishment? Union, Union University. Union University. Well, yeah. these guys are all a class of 2022. Yeah. It was class of 2021. The three of us were in the guitar ensemble together. I met Ben in, in the... In the circle what? We lived in the same heritage, in the same freshman group. I was the bottom right in Dodd, and then he was... And we would have the middle left. welcome week jam sessions before curfew in the Ooh. circle of life. We were, we were both that acoustic guitar guy. <laughs> no, we weren't. Because I saw them later, and we were not like them. Lucas, I know how we met. Jazz band. Oh. We were in we jazz band together. Right. We probably met at some honors function. Maybe. I met you at our music audition. Oh, that's right. When I was auditioning for Union's music department to be a music major, Austin was auditioning on the same day, and we had our auditions like back to back, guitar boys. Here's what happened. Let me tell you the story, the origin story for that band, just briefly. Quiet Hour is a band made up of uh, four guys from, from Union, and they did a concert in their dorm, uh, just for some friends, because they like playing music together. So me and my, my roommate Jackson, uh, we went to a, a concert in Nashville. It was awesome. On the way back, we got to talking, and we we're like, yo, what if we did a dorm concert thing? And so the band was actually put together for the dorm concert, not the other way around. So it was Lucas, Ben, and I, and this other drummer, and then last minute we switched to Austin. Um, and we played like 10 songs in my dorm um, that Jackson and I put it on, um, and it was a blast.
Music has always been more of like a side hobby for me. I don't know if I was thinking, oh, when I'm in college, I'm gonna become a well-known rapper or I'm going to join a band. I have always wanted to be in a band, though. I will say that. I guess going into college, yeah, I was probably, it was on my mind. Um, I was aware of the fact that Jackson, Tennessee is between Memphis and Nashville <laughs> and the opportunities that that might bring. Um, so it's kind of a dream come true. I was definitely wanting to keep pursuing my solo stuff and find other people either to collaborate with in, in a band or just to hang out with and jam. And so my freshman year, we had a, a handful of jam sessions and, and those were all pretty fun. And I wasn't as, as good as I am now at jamming, but <laughs> I think I, I might've had the notion of, okay, I'm gonna go to college, I'm gonna play ping pong, I'm gonna go play pickup volleyball and, and I'm gonna join a band. Like I had all these goals and it, it took me so long to actually get there. So yeah, I did. I was kind of a wide-eyed freshman who had some dreams of, oh, I want to make music with other musicians here and find people to talk to about music. I always wanted to be in a band, but I never had enough friends that wanted to and could. So for me, it was just, I would love to do this. I don't have people to do it with. So I always wanted to, but so when I came to college, I kind of just forgot about it. And getting to do this has just been a lot of fun. It still feels weird to say that like this is a band because we just started it for fun, just goofing around and playing in the dorm. Um, but I guess we have made ourselves into a band at this point, haven't we? I definitely wanted to coming into college. I wasn't gonna like try to do it myself. I wasn't gonna like tell anybody. Well, I would have told people. I wasn't gonna do it myself, but I really wanted to do it. And so it was kind of convenient that the DRAS took initiative there. Music is one of the best community building things that God has given us. Being in that band has given me the opportunity to like get to know a lot of people I wouldn't get, have gotten to spend as much time with otherwise. Most significantly, Lucas, Ben, and Austin, um, I would consider some of my best friends now, which would not have necessarily been the case before we started the band. It was more like, oh, I know these guys. Let's see if they want to do this thing. And now I'd consider them some, some of my best friends. Yeah, picture yes. of that first so rehearsal good. somewhere. So yeah, I, I have a picture of on, on my phone. Yeah, there's a couple of I actually have the actual photo. Doing that, that, that concert yeah. was just a lot of fun. There weren't many people there. I mean, what, 30 people maybe? I feel like it was a It was a lot for a dorm room. Yeah, it was a lot for a dorm room. Yeah, oh, sorry, yeah. sorry. sorry. One, I mean, yeah, 30 in yeah. this yeah. little time. Yeah, it was great. About 30 people. There were less than the second time we put it on. The same were, time your dorm was packed The out. second yes. time, there were people sitting outside the dorm listening through the window. Speaking of the second time, and it being fun, well, that think... was part of her question, was why did we con decide to continue doing oh, it? Oh, yes. Because it was a blast. It was, it was yeah. Right. <laughs> Our, um, this is the most yeah, fun so thing I'd ever done. <laughs> that first meeting we had, we were just coming up with random band names oh every, every like 10 we were seconds. We just and, and, and the the energy, the the chemistry in our group was just vibe. was just electric it man was. it was electric ham the electric ham darius and the, darius electric, and the electric ham <laughs> these guys are darius and i'm the electric ham <laughs> that was one of our first yeah, yeah. yeah. Our, so it just, our first it just became yeah. our it just became our shtick we yeah. definitely thought it was way funnier than <laughs> we thought it was hilarious oh, we yeah. were dying at the dinner table <laughs> oh, yeah. and then we would do it and we would giggles. get a few chuckles and was just kind of like, <laughs> i'm doing it anyway it was so natural to just hang out with this particular group yeah. of four guys and we all have like like similar but but definitely different complimentary. music yes complimentary music taste and mm. so our set lists that we were able to pull together were like 
really great, really mm-hmm. solid. And, and it, like all over the place, but also made sense. Yeah, we were able to structure a set Somewhat. list in, in a logical yeah, way. Yeah, sometimes made sense. Okay, everyone should list their remember, favorite. I don't remember any. Okay, Ben one time said, uh, we, we are accepting donations. <laughs> Which is one of my favorites. Yes. That one was yeah. really I mean, really... it, like, you can't lead with that. You have to establish the yeah. like, trend and then, right. like, halfway through be like, we are accepting donations. The <laughs> yeah. merch table's over there. <laughs> I think at one point I said, thanks for coming, everybody. We are all taken. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> he did. My favorite one that Lucas did was uh, we all dressed up in PJs for the hullabaloo. Um, yes, there are and like Lucas, 300 people. There are like 300 people there. We're in PJs. <laughs> Lucas is in a great I'm, like, there, I'm in my like, whole crazy Marvel lights comics. Thing. I was yeah. wearing my Harry Potter robe. I was, I was wearing in, my house shoes and flannel pants. Yeah, we were all in like terribly looking Star PJs. Yeah. And Lucas just starts it. He goes, we're ready, oh, he for, said, ready, no, we're ready for bed. bed. That's we're what it was. He bed. said, hey guys, thanks for We are ready for bed. It's been a long week. I said we, were, we are the electric cucumbers. Okay. And then someone from the band that we were essentially opening for, like the headlining... Cooper the act. Band. Shout out Cooper the yeah, Band. Yeah, shout out to Cooper the Band. Mm-hmm. One of the guys from uh, Cooper the Band thought that we were actually the Electric Cucumbers. Yes! <laughs> oh, <laughs> and somebody was like, hey, band. Electric Cucumbers, Electric Cucumbers. And then nobody That's was looking, and was. I said, oh, Darius, they're talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> We've had some flops, too. I think the no. biggest flop was something I found to be hilarious. Yes. I know exactly what <laughs> you're talking about. Yeah. It was, uh, so, hey guys, thanks for coming out. We are one flush, two flush, three flush, few. Whew. And that was it. And, and nope. then nobody laughed. <laughs> this was uh, the very beginning of our, our Leap Day concert, the yeah, second, second concert. One. And mm. and we, just for context, we started out the Leap Day concert in, in the, bathroom. the bathroom and like, we all came oh, out of the someone. bathroom to the Donkey Kong music <laughs> from the original 8-bit. Right. It's like, do, 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 do. But we plugged it into an amp and turned it up as loud as we could. Yes. So it was like shaking it's the like, walls. And then we walked out and then there's like an awkward silence. And, and Austin, while we were in the bathroom, was like, guys, I got the perfect band name to introduce. It's going to be so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Our shows have gotten progressively one. more chaotic. The first one was very so right. Yes. The yes. second we, one. The first well one was like, we let's just get together and play some songs in our dorm. And we had and a we few were jokes. Like, we, were a little, jokes. we were a little, <laughs> this, a little silly. Yeah, the second one we were like, let's play the 8-bit <laughs> Donkey Kong the music. One, and walk out of yeah, the yeah, bathroom. I, I was on the drums first, and I took the Febreze out of your bathroom and just hit it. <laughs> and then I walked out and sat on the drums. And before we started, I was like, <laughs> And then, I don't remember yes, that. But at the very end, uh, and we had talked about this during rehearsals, that we were not going to practice. Yeah. Um, doing oh, the, the climb. climb. Oh. By Miley Cyrus. And we were like, okay, Lucas. <laughs> acoustic sing along. Lucas, version. acoustic sing along, but with random modulations, random key changes. At the end of the set, we walked out and got in a circle, and Lucas started playing it, and unbeknownst to anybody, he was just gonna change the key out of nowhere. Well, he and changed it in the last like chorus. Like the last chorus? He like changed, he changed the key like three times yes. in the last chorus. <laughs> There's a, it's we amazing. had the video of it on Instagram. Well, and the craziest thing to me is that like, the, totally the crowd like, there were probably 30 people followed with yeah. us. Yeah. Everybody was like, oh, the key changed, and like, drop it down like a few half steps, and it's like, But we oh. made it. we made it a point, we said, we're not gonna practice this. Yeah. Yes. Distinctly no, in rehearsal. The first time yes. did it. We said, okay, we're not gonna practice it. Yeah. Just Lucas, just know you're gonna play this. Yeah. Okay. This yeah. next one we also put out a little bit ago. original songs, Postcard and Lydia. Lydia was uh, written by Lucas, and then I think Ben helped him kind of pull it together into a song. We had one songwriting session with me and Austin and Lucas. We were in my dorm, sitting on the floor, 
just kind of playing some chords. I wasn't doing a whole lot because I'm not as familiar with songwriting and Austin and Lucas were kind of having a little bit of a mind meld and I was just kind of watching. We needed some more original stuff and I had a chorus that I had written a couple of years earlier and uh, I was like, hey, this is kind of fun. And they were like, yeah, you should finish it. And so, let's see, I played guitar, bass, and sang on the track. And then Austin played drums. Darius did that impeccable melodica solo. The chorus is where it started, and that was an idea from, I feel like that was even before I went to college. I had that, sort of my, that chorus sort of recorded, and it was just one of hundreds of voice memos that I have at any given moment. And it came from, like, Lydia's not a specific person, but just like, it sounds good when you sing it. It's a, it's a like lyrical name. It was a friend that I had sort of like put on a pedestal at one point and thought, man, this is such such a perfect person. Their life is all together. Don't have, and then I found out like later on, there is some stuff going on with this person that kind of surprised me. And I was like, man, that must mean that we're all just people like <laughs> messing up all the time and we need each other. My participation in Lydia was more just in the studio recording it with Lucas. And then we, we recorded drums with Austin, but all the other times we were doing bass, guitars, and vocals, it was just me and Lucas in the studio. And that was the whole process. Definitely tested our, our patience with each other and tested Lucas's absurd perfectionism. He, he would still tell me today, like, hey, we should go, we should go re-record the the Lydia vocals. I bet I could do it better this time. I played the chaotic melodica so <laughs> That was fantastic. Oh, I was thinking was earlier sweet. when when I was like I didn't know that we recorded the drums in Barefoots like because I wasn't there for that. Yep. Also, Austin didn't know about the melodica until I, we sent him the demo. <laughs> <laughs> no, they sent me. They said, "Hey, this is the final version of <laughs> with the melodica solo." I said, "Huh." We spent about an hour going through different organ patches, and Darius was trying to play like a serious solo, and we couldn't find anything that like the three of us agreed on or liked. And then I was just like, "What if you?" don't listen to it and just play random stuff on the melodic and then so i wore the, <laughs> the headphones key. and told him when to start playing and when to stop playing and then we just use that yeah so it. like normally you record with like headphones on so you can hear the track you know, right trying to play no headphones that sound good <laughs> no, that was just, not the goal <laughs> play, not right? the goal <laughs> Postcard, it's a song about missing somebody that you love because you're separated by long distance. So uh, April 2020, hadn't seen Grace in like a month. I'm sitting in my bedroom and playing guitar because playing music was one of the ways that I tried to cope with uh, the anxiety of being in a global pandemic. And I honestly don't remember um, exactly whether I started with the lyrics or started with the tune. But yeah, just ended up writing that chorus, recording a little voice demo and thinking, um, I'm gonna come back to this. That was the beginning of it. And then when we were playing Hollow Blue and we decided we want to play some original songs. So we ended up playing an original song that was written by each member of the band. And Postcard was mine. And I'd only written the chorus. And we were in the rehearsal hall and I was like, here's the chorus, let me play it and sing it for you guys real quick. And they were like, that's really cool, let's turn that into something. And we kind of ended up coming up with the tune for the verses all together and like the song structure. And once we had that, Austin went and wrote the rest of the lyrics for the verses. Um, and then we brought it all together and had a full song that we played, debuted at the Hullabaloo. There's so much more that I could say, but for now, I just want to hold your hand. But I do have this. I said, I've got this chorus that I wrote for Grace, his now wife. 
when they were doing long distance for COVID. And, and it was originally a verse. And then we were talking and we were like, it kind of feels like a chorus. And he said, okay, yeah. So we made it a chorus and he said, hey, and we were meeting the following week. And he said, I, you know, don't have time to finish this. Can one of you take time? But I was like, yeah, I'll do it. That sounds like fun. And so we were like hashing through the song. And then, so I sat down at the piano and we worked out that. And then the kazoo was Lucas and or Darius's idea. And you know, after that melody, then we, came back with some lyrics and we then refined the lyrics a little bit. So he, it was, you know, Darius, myself, but then the final product of specifically like the arrangement and where where we did the kazoo, where we did the gang vocals. That was, I mean, that was everyone. That one I think is the most that band song. Where you know, Lydia is awesome and it's definitely a that band song. I think Postcard is just the most of all of us. Ba -da, ba -da. He texts me, he goes, hey man, did you get a chance to finish the song? I said, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I totally had So I was at church and I was just, I was in the bathroom and I was like, all right, I'm going to crank it out. So I just cranked it out. In the bathroom at <laughs> church? In about five minutes. Well, I, I did not know this. Out. And they, they have gone some refining since then, but I was on the toilet. <laughs> I did yeah. not know about yeah. that. I, I didn't tell anyone. I was like, this is going to be embarrassing. It is embarrassing. <laughs> but I don't know. That's why the verses seem a little yeah, awkward. It's because they kind of were, but I think they fit well. We what? hit a thousand plays the other day. We did hit a thousand All in the day. same day. It was crazy. Shout out Spotify. We hit all of them. We went... <laughs> the response has been incredible. We're still getting consistent plays on both songs. Um, it's been added to some playlists. Not like big Spotify curated playlists, but just playlists of regular Spotify users, which is super meaningful to us. For me, I just... You know, it's like, I wrote this because I wanted to, but I would really like it if some people listened to it. And so whenever more than like five people listen to something, it's always like, wow, this is, this is amazing. <laughs> I've had a lot of people tell us personally, like, I really enjoyed the song. People have asked us things about like, what's up with the melodica? <laughs> and so just people showing interest in it has been, has been really fun. And on campus, it's been really good. You know, some people have been like, oh, I can't get Lydia in my head. I had one friend, he goes, hot take. I like Postcard better than Lydia. I was like, that. Thank you. I mean, I, it wasn't just me, it was all of us, right? I think now that we release music, I think we're more formally known as like that band. It's like, oh, you play with that band. It's like, yeah. And, and so that's been really cool. The feedback has been incredibly positive, incredibly sweet and amazing. And I was talking about this with the guys, like as we were doing it, it helps that it didn't have my name on it. It was like the that band song. So if it, <laughs> we said this before, like if it, if it releases and it's not so great, I can be like, oh, that was just for whatever, it's a fun thing. But if people like it, I'm like, yeah, I wrote that song. You like it? Man, that's, thank you. Luckily, the latter has happened. The times we've got to play it in front of people and hear them singing those, like, dumb little words that I wrote, it's just so much fun. And uh, I hope I get to do it more later, because it's one of the best feelings. At the concert, before we were about to play Lydia, um, I was on electric, and there's that iconic riff that opens it up that, that Lucas just came up with. And as soon as I hit those first two notes, people were cheering, and it was so, it was, I've never experienced that. And so when we played Postcard, everybody was singing along, and we, we prolonged the ending and then played a punk rock version of it at like one and a half times speed, and everybody was still jamming along with it even though we changed it <laughs> and did something weird with it. Also. Random fun fact, 
Uh, I was just checking our Spotify for artists, so I look at it every now and then to see how many plays we have. You can see like what playlists you get streams from. I was looking through and it said The Walking Dead season 11. And I was like, what does that mean? And, and there was a username that didn't look like it meant anything. I looked at the description. For every episode of The Walking Dead season 11, the props people who worked on the show on set would add songs to it for the theme of the episode that either like fit the vibe or had the same name as one of the characters in it. And there's a character named Lydia. And so our song is on that playlist just because it's named Lydia and we've gotten three streams from it. <laughs> Light shines through my sleeping eyes as the newborn daylight glints on the sea. Chase everything I Going into the last concert mm -hmm. is... Things. I have a word for it. Yes. Bittersweet. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's, it it's exciting that we're doing a concert. It's exciting that, like in some ways, it's exciting that it is the last one. At the same time, it's sad. I don't think we're going to stop making music together entirely. Mm. It's just that, like... I don't know what you guys' plans are, but I doubt we'll all be in Jackson for the rest of our life. April 1st, 2022, the that band, we don't even have like a name for it. We'll figure it out. Yeah, um, Exploding Frogs. The that band <laughs> Spring Hoot The Man. that band. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is what I call that's, it. That's what our, we have a Spotify playlist. Can we call it that That's right. Can we actually put the word here <laughs> on the the last thing that Darius said, we've never introduced ourselves as that band. You know, after the second one, we called ourselves that band, but we named ourselves a myriad of other things, right? And that's the bit. At the end of that last show, Darius goes, thank you guys so much for coming out. We are that band. And I don't think he knew, but for me, that kind of felt like some sort of closure. It's like, we have been that band. We've played five events together. We won an award at a, as a band at Rock the Block. We opened for one of the bigger bands in Jackson, Tennessee. We've had a lot of fun. I've had people over to my house and given them hot chocolates so that they can, while they watch us play. It's definitely melancholy to know that this might be the end of an era. I don't think this is gonna be the end of that band. I think that we're always going to be talking with each other, um, collaborating with each other, and we release music together, you know? That's, that's, a, that's a successful thing going forward, even if we don't ever play another show together or something. There's a permanent record of, uh, of our time together as a band. I don't, know if the, I don't know if the others have said this yet, but there's been some talk, at least in our group chat, about doing like some Christmas songs at the end of the year. That would be a lot of fun. And I mean, we've talked about this too, with, with the technology nowadays, if we want to write some more songs together, like we can do that no matter if we're all over the country or not. But I think we'll definitely be putting stuff out later. Oh, and I think we still are trying to make a Lydia music video. Yeah. I still want to. I think that would be a lot of fun. When I think about legacy, if such things could be said about that band. Uh, <laughs> if one might even use such words yeah, as legacy. I, I don't know if I would. I hope yeah. the impression that we give is that people should play music and have fun. Because I think that's something that I know when we were talking that we saw was missing, is that we just wished people <laughs> would just play music. And stuff like this is totally doable and totally worth it mm. and so much fun and so rewarding. Mm. Somebody messaged me on Instagram today and was like, I love the songs, like you guys are so creative and great and I really want to do that too. And I was like, you totally can. Because we said the same thing at one point and then just started doing it. <laughs> Be like, don't let the fire die out. <laughs> <laughs> just have an actual torch. Here, this is yours now. <laughs> it's inevitable that my individual legacy will be then fix it in post. <laughs> um, there's a brick out on the sidewalk that says 2% milk. And that was another that was another student band. That was Katie Simpson's dad's band. Wait, what? Yes. I hope that we inspire future musicians and bands on Union's campus just like Quiet Hour inspired us. Isn't it crazy to see?
see how far we've come now? Since the first time we played this song that we're about to play? In my dorm room, my junior year. Wow. Was anybody in here at the first time we played? Yeah, yeah raise your hand if you were here the first time we played. Woo! Everyone else is a poser. <laughs> I'm a gun team boy, I eat sticks and rocks and mud. I don't care about the government, I really need a hug. I feel stupid, ugly, and it doesn't bother me. Not very strong, but I'll keep you up with your mean bug. So sorry. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna miss the impression. <laughs> anyway, anyways, anyways, okay. I have friends. <laughs> 